let's talk about mathematical functions. So remember the main method. The main method was a static method. And this static keyword basically associates the method with the class. So meaning that you can call this method either by the within the same class from other methods or preceding it with the class name. Like for instance, math.sinus. You want to use the sinus method in the math class, which is in the Java Lang package. You would actually use it as math.sinus or math.cosinus and so on. So the math class is something that is available in Java and it has a lot of methods, trigonometric methods, exponent methods, rounding, minimum, maximum, random, absolute value. And we'll go over these methods now. So first of all, trigonometric methods. They take a double, that is the number of radians. So basically sinus takes the, uh, uh, is one of the methods, sinus of zero is zero, sinus of math dot pi divided by two, it's one, basically this is 90 degrees. Sinus of math.pi divided by six is 0 0.5. Then we have cosinus, tangenta, a cosinus, a sinus, a tangenta. These are the trigonometric methods. For cosinus, we actually have the same behavior with cosinus in math. Math.cosinus of zero is one. And math.cosinus of math.pi divided by two is zero. So basically it has the sinusoid behavior. It starts in the case of sinus with zero and then math.pi divided by two is one and math.pi is zero and so on. And then in the case of cosinus, it starts math.cosinus of zero is one and then math.cosinus of pi divided by two is zero and so on. You don't need to import math. Math is in the Java Lang package. So you can actually use it without having to import it. Next method, next methods are the exponent methods. So exponent takes a double and returns uh, e to the power a. So ex math dot exponent of one is 2.71. Logarithm is natural logarithm of the input, the double input. So math dot logarithm of 2.71 is one. Uh, power, it's basically raises, takes two parameters, raises the first parameter as the base to the exponent that is the second parameter. So power of two and three is two to the power three, which is 8.0. Power of three and two is three to the power two, which is 9.0. You can use real numbers in power and three to the uh, 0.5 to the power 2.5 is 22 to uh, period 91765. Square root is the square root of uh, the double. So square root of four is 2.0. Square root of 10.5 is uh, 3.24. Square root of nine is three and so on. Then we have the rounding methods. So if they take a double, ceiling takes a double X and it rounds it up to the nearest integer. If, uh, x is a double that represents an integer, then it basically returns x casted to an, uh, basically as, an, as the same result, or x is basically that integer as a double. The only difference is that the ceiling, although we know that it returns an integer, it returns it as a double value. So the re result of ceiling is double. Similarly for floor, floor of a double x, rounds down to the nearest integer. Again, this integer is returned as a double value. R int, in the case that, so it basically it rounds to the closest the nearest integer. So R int of, let's say 4.3, it will return 4.0. It's closer to four than to five. The only difference is when it's equally close to two integers. So 4.5 will round to the, closer integer that is an even one, okay? So this is a little bit maybe unintuitive. So for instance, math.r int of 4.5, we return four. 
and math dot r int of 5.5 it's equally far from 5 and to uh, from 6 it will return 6 so the difference is that it always rounds to the to the nearest integer if there are two integers that are equally close to x it rounds to the even one and java had this behavior from basically the beginning this is a standard for rounding python made a mistake in this case the diff uh, uh, basically uh, in python 2.7 rounding will return always the higher integer in the case that it's equally far while in the case of 3.x basically after python 3 it rounds again to the closest even uh, closest integer if it's equally far from two integers it chooses the even one this is basically a standard ieee standard for rounding professor uh, go ahead how would you use um rent over like ceiling or floor is it because the ceiling or floor rounds so to... ceiling and floor are not uh, it's not rounding so basically ceiling always returns the ceiling so ceiling of 4.1 is 5.0 you are basically always rounding up in the case of uh, floor rounding down so math dot floor of 4.9 it doesn't matter that it's so close to five it rounds down to four Oh, okay. Okay, so I see. Ceiling and floor are not are not going to the closest integer. They are basically they are not rounding. They are the ceiling and the floor, as opposed to rounding, which is basically the closest. So, in the case of math dot r int of four point one, it gives me four because basically it's the closest integer. To 4.1 and similarly r int of 4.9 it rounds up it rounds to 5 because 5 is closer to 4.9 than 4 is so the other ones are ceiling and floor this is actually the rounding operator r int okay i see thank you welcome now we have the two methods round and uh, uh, that takes a float or round that takes a double. Really, the way that they are defined is uh, the, it returns math.floor of x plus 0 0.5 cast it to an integer. So that's in the case of float. In the case of a double, which is usually the case, we are rounding uh, basically it's math.floor of x plus 0 0.5 cast it to a long so let's see a couple of examples so the first one is math.ceiling of 2.1 is 3.0 math.ceiling of 2.0 is 2.0 because it's already a double that represents an integer math.ceiling of minus 2.0 is minus 2.0 math.ceiling of minus 2.1 is minus 2.0 because the negative numbers minus 2.1 is less than minus two uh math dot floor of 2.1 is 2.0 math dot floor of 2.0 is 2.0 math dot floor of minus 2.0 is minus 2.0 math dot floor of minus 2.1 is minus 3.0 math dot round of 2.6 as a float number returns three math dot round of 2.0 is two as a long uh, math dot round of minus two uh, point zero float number returns a minus two as an integer, and math dot round of minus two point six returns minus three. It's basically the closer integer to minus two point six. The only things that I want to add here is that these two are actually returned as long. So if you want to assign them to some integer variable, you have to cast them from uh basically in uh, long to integer okay okay 
Any questions up to now? I saw that we are actually one minute over time and I don't want to keep you longer. So we will actually stop here the recording and we'll continue from here next time. I will stay if you have any questions, uh, basically after the class. Thank you. Thank you, Professor.